What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be going through an income report for my niche website in the dog space for June 2020. Not the best of reports this time, but it's going to be very interesting because if you saw my last video that was talking all about improving this website, then you would know that I was actually going to do an income report following that video on that specific website. So in this video, we're going to share all the earnings, all the traffic, how the site's going, what needs improving. We're going to touch a little bit on that, but if you do want to know that more in depth then at the end of this video I'll leave a link in the description so you can go watch the other video that was made before this talking about how I'm going to scale the site all right so there's plenty of opportunities still with the site but it can do with some improvement I'll tell you that right off the bat all right so what we're going to go through first of all is how many articles the site has as many of you know who follow this channel I regularly just read it off my phone because it's a lot easier for me to actually go through the video the site currently has 107 articles published on the site about 30 of those are money posts uh, the rest are information so it's a very informational based site which I'm actually looking to turn around in the near coming future. The site last month brought in 25,000 uh, visitors, 111 with 20,000 individual page views as well. And then if we actually compare that to last month, we can see that it's down by 2.18%. And then we can see that the previous month was 20,600 views. And then on page views, we've actually had an increase from 23,000 23,000 to 25,000 so not too bad on that it's just hovering around that stage because I haven't really actively been adding a lot of content so how many pieces of content did I actually add in the month of June well five that's purely because I had them in the draft so what I did they wasn't published um, my writers had already written those pieces of content and then I had to do the on-page SEO for it the outbound links all that kind of stuff and then publish the content and to be honest I was really slacking on that site for quite some time because I'm working on other things. Like it's, it's kind of been neglected a little bit, so it needs some TLC. So how old is the site? The site's 23 months old, that's how old it is now. What's my keyword strategy been? Well, prior to actually um, going into this whole plan of scaling the site, my keyword strategy was essentially reverse engineering competitors' websites that are of a similar authority to mine and then pulling out all those keywords that they might have that I can potentially target now when I was doing that before I was mainly focused on informational keywords now I'm more focused on buyer intent but if the info ones have a lot of traffic then I'll still potentially consider that because obviously that can be monetized in different ways maybe with advertising or an info product or something like that if you haven't watched my last video then some of the stuff I say might not make sense but um, I'm gonna be adding an informational product to the site a digital digital ebook so that way I can monetize it that way so if I'm actually getting quite a lot of uh, organic traffic for an informational article then some of that can be funneled into potentially selling an info product or capturing an email lead and then funneling them so currently the site has 1200 backlinks um, it's quite funny because I've actually only seen this big surge in uh, backlinks over the last couple of months some of them are organic and natural and quite a lot of them are just spam you might ask am I going to disavow them I'm, I'm not like because unless they're negatively impacting my site then I'm not going to disavow them because that might raise some level of suspicion from Google so there's nothing in my search console or anything raising anything that makes those links look suspicious and Google's algorithm is now programmed to actually you know overlook those low quality links and just essentially take no notice of them. I don't know how effective that is or how accurate that is, but I'll have to see over the next couple of months. And if it does have a negative effect, then you can just disavow them. You can upload a disavow file. And I believe you can even do that on Ahrefs, which I'm currently using now as well. All right, so the site has 244 backlinks, sorry, 244 referring domains that are making up that 1200 uh, backlinks. So what's my backlink strategy been? At the beginning of the site, you guys would know that I was building up like web 2.0s. So I was doing like Cura back backlinks I was um, which are no follows some guest posts and that's really it to be honest it was kind of at the beginning and I haven't like then pursued that continued to build links consistently because of the type of website it was which is informational it attracts quite a lot of organic backlinks based on the posts that I do that are around like some kind of data or statistics and things like that I wasn't really too focused on building links for the site prior to this moment but now I'm focusing more on buyer intent content I'm going to be pushing for backlinks you know so 
I'm gonna be running backlink campaigns and whatever else. 82.52% of the traffic is coming in from SEO and direct is behind at 16%, which is brilliant. I'm really happy with that. I always want most uh, traffic coming in for, from organic. I've actually saw a slight increase in the direct amount of traffic. So that means more visitors are actually getting familiar with the brand and then retyping that directly into Google, which is a very good sign to Google. We get into the most important part, which many of you may be waiting for, which is the earnings report. So how much does the site make last month? All right, so on Amazon, the site actually made $326.35 with a conversion rate of 19.07%. Last month was actually $567 with a conversion rate of 19.92%. So um, there's also a $27 bonus from uh, Amazon. I don't know like why they don't include it in your complete monthly report. And then $128.27 on Ezoic with an EPMV, I believe of like $8 and something. And then that brings it to a total of $408.20 or something like that around that, which is appalling for the site because it hasn't been that low, the earnings in like maybe six months or something like that. So the site has dipped quite dramatically. One of the main things this that caused this is because it fell from the 8% bracket on Amazon to 3%, but that doesn't stop the site from succeeding because there's many other ways of monetizing the site and I'm still getting a substantial amount of traffic. I do think that I could um, earn more with ads even. Ezoic, you know, the EPMV is like $8 or something, so it's, it's quite low, okay? And then um, the site, the authority of the site is currently at 16 with a page authority average at 27. All right, so as I explained, you know, Amazon's commission rates have, have really damaged the earnings of the site. It doesn't mean be all is end all kind of situation, you know? So like what I'm gonna be doing is focusing on all the methods that I explained in the last video, which I'll leave a link to up here. And uh, one of them are being like swapping out the Amazon products. Like, you know, the ones on my top performing posts, I'm gonna test it out and see how it performs if I actually just replace it with the direct vendor's product opposed to trying to refer the people over to Amazon. One of the other things I'm gonna be cracking on with is focusing more on buyer intent content. I'm gonna be focusing 80% of my efforts on buyer intent content. And I've got a method and strategy to actually fish out all the long tail keywords uh, for buyer intent content. And the way I'm gonna be setting it up, it's gonna make a substantial difference to the earnings of the site very quickly. So I believe within like maybe like two months, three months, we might be up to a thousand dollars per month. So let's see if I can do that. Um, one of the other things is I'm gonna rewrite any articles that are like position 40 plus and they've just over the last six months been stagnant or just dropping in the ranks. It's usually a good indication that that's underperforming content and I'll improve that. The ones that are like 30, position 20, you know, up to 10, I'll try and focus on the on-page SEO. And um, if it warrants, I'll obviously try and, you know, do some links if it's in the top 10 or whatever else and try and see if I can get up that way. One of the other methods is using internal anchor text, um, sending target anchor text to pages in the top 10, you know, articles that you have ranking in the top 10. This can give it a good uh, signal to Google of what the topic of the article is about. Yeah, what I'll also be doing in regards to the uh, ones in the top 20, 30 and whatever else is running them through Surfer SEO. And I'll be doing a review on Surfer's tool in the next couple of weeks and how I personally use it. I've watched a few tutorials on different people and how they use it. And um, I've seen that a few people use it in different ways. Um, I don't know if my way is the right way, but I have seen some significant changes um, on the articles that I've actually used it on. So what's the target for next month? Well, I believe the site, like, you know, so it's, it's doing under $500 at this point. I mean, uh, let's make the target next month for 700 to try and push it a little bit. The reason why we can set these targets is purely because it's quick turnarounds on the articles on this site because of how old the site is. It's almost two years old. Well, yeah, basically only a month off that. And so publishing a new article can show up in the top 20, 10, whatever, you know, depending on the level of competition. So if I focus on really going heavy on the content, which is my main focus at the moment and repairing some of those old articles, then I might see a significant difference within the next 28 days. So let's see if I can push for that 700, even 600 would be good. Um, site really needs some TLC. I've got a note here. And where would I value the site? I would say at 12, 14,000. I was valuing it at like 20K before, but because of the decline over the last couple of months, um, I'd value about 10, 12, 
15K most probably. So let's see if I can actually get this up because I'm trying to sell this site for 100K at the end of the year. So it'd be a big challenge, but I like challenges anyway. And I've got a lot of support from many of you watching this channel. And yeah, that's it, man. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to smash that like button. If you are new, then consider subscribing. And as with always, I'll leave you on that note. More to your success and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.